What's up peeps and welcome back to some more Dark Souls. Last we left off we cleared out the gargoyles, the area boss, and I did a teeny weeny weeny bit of uh, farming off camera just to get that 20,000 soul so that we can well, count, so that we can uh, okay. invest it into the crest of Artorius. Uh, most people will probably yeah, want to get yeah. this uh, later on in the game because it, in the immediate vicinity it holds no purpose. I mean you have to clear out the Titanite Demon uh, and then go past. But um, I'm gonna buy it because with that done now we can do the, the, the run we can, we can run the bridge without fearing for our souls. Get it? Fearing for ourselves. Um, and in fact, the, the quickest way back to that point with minimalist effort is back through Filing Shrine, uh, through the Undead Berg, to where uh, Artor uh, blah 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 Artorius. Uh, <laughs> so there is. Um, got Artorius in my brain. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll rack up a few souls while we do that. It won't be, it won't be, uh, won't be a significant loss if we do die. Uh, I'm more concerned about humanity at this point. But you can, um, you can get that back. I mean, the point of the game is to fear for the loss of humanity, and they've done very well in reinforcing that notion into you. Uh, you don't want to die. Dying is bad, as it should be. Um, but it's something that can be regained. I mean, the whole point of the, the Souls games is that despite hardships uh, that are thrown at you through hard work and perseverance, you can you can get through it. You can you can um, endure. Or you will endure. I mean, by not giving up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, people rage quit, but if they're rage quitting it means that they're clearly either not approaching it in the way in which uh, it would uh, help them get through it. That or then it, so yeah, I mean it, the, the base of it just comes down to the player either not having the skill to get by or that they're not powerful enough at that point to get by. I mean it, one's got to compensate for the other. Uh, you're, either you're seriously OP and bash everything in sight, or you're skillful enough that you can evade and uh, damage uh, in the opportunities that present themselves. I mean, as you get better throughout the game, it becomes the latter, to be fair. Your skill becomes um, good enough that regardless of your level or skills or abilities, uh, you can just press on through the areas, um, but at the end of the day, being overly powerful doesn't. <laughs> I mean, it helps, right? It helps. I usually go for strength builds because they're. Um, I mean, you can be skillful enough, but at the end of the day, you got to hit hard. Or you, yeah, and. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Right. And you dead too. Right. Uh, yeah, we wanted to make our way back here. Because from here, we can... Not there. <laughs> we can climb this ladder and go back up to the bridge where the drake awaits us. The wyvern. We're gonna get him to clear the bridge first. Alright. You wanna make yourself as light as possible. And, well, you wanna make yourself as light as possible. Can I still fast roll? I can, sort of. To do it. Um, the reason I say that is I'm going to try and lure his butt down 
and while well he comes down. We're gonna run straight past. Because you can run, if you got high enough HP, you can run straight at him. Uh, and it'll be alright. I mean, you'll take a few hits, I won't insta-kill you, uh, and you can make it past. But I don't think at this point we're powerful enough. <laughs> We've got enough health to, to do that, or take that approach. So for now, let's just wait for him to come down. And the other way is to stand on the other side, and I believe that triggers it. It doesn't really matter which side. Come on, big guy. Don't be shy. There we go. Haul ass. Straight past. Doesn't really matter if you wanna... Okay, yeah. Cause he is just gonna fly away. There we go. Bye bye! Bye Drake! We'll see you soon! <laughs> With his tail intact. Yeah, I mean... The Drake Sword is actually... If you're struggling in this area, or if you're struggling in Dark Souls in the beginning, uh, grinding, well, getting, grinding his tail health bar down um, to get the Drake Sword is one way to overcome that because Drake Sword is pretty damn OP at this point. Uh, I mean, you need to have the health, the, the health requirements, the stat requirements to use it. But if you do, that shit is just, it'll bash everything. Um, uh, that it comes into contact with. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Good dish. Good dish. And we've got the sunlight altar here. Which we can't do anything for because we don't have the faith requirement nor the sunlight medal count to do it. Oh, how far along? in the game to do it. But yeah, we wanted to come here just to get the Claymore. Um, Claymore is an awesome... It is an awesome weapon. Which I very much like using. We still need to pour some more points into our endurance though, because... We are still... F yeah, that's better. That's better. So, buddy. Kadoosh! Kadoosh! Right. At this point, though, we're still dealing more damage with our battle axe. What we're going to try and do. Well, I'm going to clear out this area first. We're going to see if we can take down the Black Knight. Because now that we've got the, um... Tight Knight Shard. Nice. Now that we've got that bonfire right there. Yeah, it's the best time to do it. Ooh, come on. That was really crap. Uh, and that bonfire is, I think it's more of a gameplay consideration for when you can warp. Uh, it makes it easy to get to it. You can warp to most uh, bonfires that are covenant related. I mean, Fire Like Shrine for the Way of White. Uh, Yanito's got his own. So that bonfire there is more for the, the altar itself. Uh, did we rest at it? Did I rest at it? I think I rested at it. Because <laughs> if I didn't, then... I'm going to lose a whole lot of souls. Yeah, I did, because, yeah. I lit it. Alright. Let's get our gauntlets back on. We need all the health. 
because this is such a shit. Right. These stairs lead up to the top of the tower where a black knight awaits us. Um, there he is. Now, there is not much space to take him on here. Can I get the backstab in? Oh. God damn it. Come on. Present your booty to me. <laughs> uh, the easier way to deal with him is to lure him back down the stairs. Whoa. God damn it, that hit hard. Right. Yeah, we're just gonna... Go back down the stairs to the open area. It'll make it considerably easier to deal with him. You can take him up on... You can take him on up there. Uh, and you can parry his attacks. I can hear him running, come on. What the shit? Did he jump down? Well, that kind of helps us because he got some full damage. Come on, into the open area. Oh, god dang it! And that does have some reach to it as well. Come on. Come on, big guy, do your lunging. Ooh. There we go. He did. Tighten that chunk. No goodies, though! Give us the goodies! God dang it. Uh, so next thing, next order of business, I guess, is we need to go get some smith boxes and repair boxes because we're going to be away from Andre for a while now. Come on, big guy. You did. And also because we want to upgrade our claymore. And you did. And you did. What you doing, fools? Hey. What's wrong with you? You're looking kinda dead to me. But you are looking dead. Feel my axe in your back. Got to turn around. Good song. Good song. Old school. But now we've got 4,000 souls, which means we can get both smith box and the repair box and we've got a soul item as well which we can burn up to get some titanite shards I mean for those you really want to grind you can leave this area uh, with plus five equipment all around but yeah we're not too it's just that one soul item Hey there! Purchase item. Purchase this. Purchase this. And we've got 800. Which is one shard. One measly shard! Do you know what? I'm feeling lucky. Which means... We're gonna try and take on this big guy. God, look at that. Pathetic. We're doing... Pathetic.
pathetic amount of damage. Pathetic amount of damage. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I thought that was gonna get me. Because the problem in this is, well, for one, his reach. And uh, there's loads of obstacles on the floor. Because a reach. Look at that reach. Look at that bullshit reach. Oh, his tail got us. No, 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 boy. Yeah, that attack, that attack hurts. <laughs> Come on. Get me past your hand. I thought he was gonna... Come on! We're looking good too. I don't know why he keeps looking away. Ooh, that was so close. So close. I saw him jump at the last second. There we go. Get some nice souls and some demon titanite. And while we're at it, we're gonna go unlock the hidden bonfire. I'ma chop you down like a tree. Cause you is a tree. Well, you were a tree anyway. No, you are a tree now, you didn't used to be a tree. Sort of. Guess what they really... Uh, I mean, we'll see what they used to look like in the DLC. But, um, even then, they look very... non-humanoid, I guess. Come on, big guy. I know an ambush when I see one. Oh, shit. That was close. By ambush, I mean you. Shit, Ed. Come on. You dead. Purple mass clump. These guys are a really good source of, uh, of moss. Uh, before we go into Blight Town, we're going to come back. We're going to farm some of them, uh, the rest of the moss will buy from Moss Lady. That crazy old coot. So, yeah. If, um, I mean, if you're observant enough and you come here, you can actually see that there's bonfire poker sticking there in the left. Uh, and that this is, in fact, a hidden wall. We're gonna light it, we're not gonna rest at it. Uh, we're just gonna open this up. Cute. Can we even see any of them from here? I don't think we can. Even if I go closer in, can we? I don't think we can. I think you actually have to... I would have thought we'd at least be able to see the knight. Oh no, the knight's over there in the distance. I can just about see him in front of the tree. We're going to explore this area, and this this area is in fact really good for farming. There's a nifty little glitch that you can, or game mechanic, that you can exploit uh, that gets all the NPCs in this area to jump to their death. Uh, so for farming, that's that's really cool, and I will probably show that off at some point for people who want to get ahead quickly in the game. Uh, but for now, we are just going to run back to Andre. And I just wanted to show this area off. You can, at this point, make your way down, explore this area. This is like a side area. Uh, it's optional. You get a few rewards and a boss soul for doing it. Uh, but in terms of in terms of progression, it's um, 
I'd like to say it's no essential. You can get by without taking it on. Same again for uh, this area down here. I'm trying to think if there's any benefits, like uh, in terms of necessities, I mean, down there. The DLC's down there, that's for sure, but we can't get to that just yet. Um, don't think there's... there's a shortcut back into Valley of the Drakes and I mean there's the Hydra there's the shortcut back up into the Undead Berg uh, but even then it's it's more optional stuff. In terms of progression uh, there's two places we can go from here. There's either down into the lower Undead Berg uh, to face Capra, or at this point, if you have the master, the master key, you can make your way down into the the back entrance of uh, of Blight Town. Well, uh, you need any? Just gonna buy some more of that. Thank you, buddy. And go back up to the bonfire. Kill. And on that note, we're going to leave it here for now. Stay tuned for some more Dark Souls coming out soon. Until then, as always, stay awesome.